Today, I would like to show you one trick that I have learned from perhaps multiple flight instructors, and it's one way that you can help to guard against ever taking off on one magneto. So when you are on the ground and you're doing your mag check, there is a way to do that mag check that can assure that you end up back in the both position and not just on the left or the right or the right mag position. Let's take a look at the ignition switch in this airplane. Right here we have this Bendix ignition switch. It's got four positions. It has off, right mag, left mag, and both. So we've taxied down to the end of the runway and there we are doing our run up. And so instead of checking the one click over or the left mag position first, what we really should do is go two clicks over. So the first one we're going to check is two clicks over, click, click to the right mag position, note our RPM drop, and then go back to both. And then the second check will be one click to the left mag position, note the RPM drop, and back to both. Because here's the problem. If we do the one click first, and then back to both, and then two clicks, we could inadvertently go one click back and think we are in the both position when we when we have actually only gone one click over to the left mag position and that could put us in a, a potentially compromised situation to take off on one magneto so I would highly recommend that if you have not considered this in the past you may want to think about it from here on out when you do your mag checks two clicks over back to both one click over and back to both so that you can ensure as much as possible that you are taking off on both mags with full power and one day that may be something that will help to prevent a situation that might put you in danger. I'm Dean Showalter with the Airplane Owner Maintenance Podcast and I would encourage you to stop by the website airplaneownermaintenance.com and take a look. There are 60-some podcast episodes there at this point and some other resources. Take a look, and I would also encourage you, if you'd like to contact me, you can send me an email at dean at airplaneownermaintenance.com. Thanks.